Hello gamers, geeks and gays, welcome back to Firewatch. Oh, I've missed this. I've missed this game. I'm missing every game you guys have got me playing at the moment. I need to know what's going to happen next. I need to know how we're going to interact with these, with the girls. I need to know if we've had a change of heart, perhaps. And what's really going on in the background. Because I, I feel like maybe I'm overthinking the game a little bit too much. I, I think maybe it is a little bit simpler than it maybe was, than it actually is. Uh, how, how do I... I can't remember. What's my button? How do I... Ah! Uh, ah, there we go. Shift. I was pressing control. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. I've also realised the reason I couldn't figure out how to put things away in the last episode was I had the interface hidden from when I was getting some beauty shots of the game. So I've turned the UI back on and we can now see. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Yup. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Right, so I'm guessing it was... Let's have a look, where are we? Yeah, we're nearly... Nearly there. We can see the smoke now quite clearly. Ah, it was R to run. I feel like such a noob. I feel like I forget everything I do in these games. There's another voice break for free. You love these. see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to stomp out the fire. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> oh, that's not good. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Okay. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. That's, that's good. How do I, I've forgotten, how do I use the camera? C for camera. There we go. We've got, got some evidence, although to be fair, I would have rather used the camera for pretty photos. Oh my god, I hope they're okay. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it, right? Okay. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. Look, I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just, it's weird. I'm guessing weird it's a bear. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. I'll keep hold of that. Hey, day three. Oh, we were so close to finishing the day. 
Also, apologies for like not really getting much commentary during that part. When the characters are talking, I like to just kind of sit quietly and just kind of let them do their thing. It's not my job to talk over the characters. They're doing the talking for me. Find balls downstairs to patch the window. Okie dokie. I can do that. Hey, Henry. Oh, hello. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Mess. Uh -huh. Hey, you asked. Is okay, that another one? Well, uh, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh. Hmm. Now tuxedos. I'm gonna tuxedos go tuxedos as often as possible. Oh really? Yes. How cosmopolitan! I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak <laughs> of high society. Hmm. Good to know, Dale. Yes. Now I tell me this. about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. <laughs> Um, you enjoy my thin mustache and a long scar. Well, I have a thin mustache, real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a freaking Bond villain? Yes, I, yes uh, I am. I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is is that okay? Uh Don't don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Tired. They look tired, I think. Let's be oh, honest. Yeah? yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay. I'm ready. Let's I get on with it. I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am well, glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Oh my god, a comfy you know, it's chair. It's not really that comfy. Oh, that doesn't it's look wooden, comfy at all. No padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Wow, okay, we skipped some days. But it's nice to see that he's settling into it. I feel like there was a period where he was still kind Hello, of Henry. not entirely nice sure. Afternoon. Oh my god, look at this place. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got oh, parents no. out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, let's be honest. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. 
Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. She's also stopped calling me Hank. Oh my god, we're plowing through the days. I was actually thinking the other day, how many days do I have to get through? Henry. Henry, wake up. Okay, okay. What get out is of it? bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Oh, I'm not ready to cry a second time on YouTube. Not not so quickly. Not yet. Nearly. Nearly had me. Oh, we're going on an adventure. Hike north. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies. supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and so I get to do north. crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Cool. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Oh, nice. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh, Jesus. Is that why you don't want to talk to the cops? So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. It's nice that she's able to open up now. I think. I feel harsh for maybe judging her too soon, but for thinking things maybe weren't quite as plain and simple as they were. I mean, there's still things that don't quite add up to me. But... I, I, yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad for judging her. 
Even though she's a video game character, I'm aware of, you know, she's not real. Right, so it was uh, one, and two, three, four. Okay, so two forks. I like how it does give us the uh, the choice to take more stuff. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I like how it gives you that choice to be able to, you know, pig out a little bit. But I, I, I don't see the needs to do. Oh no! You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but. I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Really? And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? The flapjack fire. So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. I said I did. it's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Nice, we've named a fire. So there's this creek down the hill, and um you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. I love these stories. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. A little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it uh yeah maybe are you looking at the fire yeah i am i love how they look at night during the day it's just smoke but when the sun is down you can just get lost yeah yeah i i do that a lot with like log fires i'm glad you're here why do you say that why do you say that because i do I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... <sighs> I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? I what don't do know do? how to feel about this. Well, I don't know how to feel about this, especially with Jules on the other end. Like, I, I, it's something that I could see happening fishing without a, license? a long time. Wait, it's what? That's a plot fish, twist? And I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okie dokie. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. <laughs> you are such a drama queen. Ugh, can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I left some fireworks. 
Right, let's confiscate them. I'm not going to let anyone else get them. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure the girls are probably dead by now if they've been missing this long. So, what we what we doing? We're looking for bear tracks. We're looking for bears. I have no idea what to even start looking for for bear tracks. Yeah. What's all this then? What the, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. No way. Um, wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. Okay, maybe I was you right. Didn't eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. They had a radio. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What the heck? Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I... 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 I don't know. Yes, you do. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold-cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Don't be doing this to me, Delilah. We, we both know. This just... Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer... Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also... I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Just as I was saying, I feel like I was overreacting a little bit. And now I'm definitely not overreacting. Something weird is going on here. She did not at all seem particularly fussed. She tried to just sweep that under the rug straight away. The second it happened, I... Ah, oh, this game. <laughs> I was having a nice time with nice conversation. Nope. Learning stuff about the characters. This awkward kind of relationship that's kind of starting up. And now someone's been listening to everything. And Delilah is hiding something. She's hiding something. I know she is. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. 
How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. <sighs> Shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Maybe. Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. I'm gonna they try again. A few days ago oh! should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. This is weird. This is so weird. I don't know what's going on. I also just want to try that again. The, the game bugged out a little bit. I, I, I think I broke it a little bit. Come on, Henry. Oh, God damn it, Henry. Right, so where are we going? Left for control burn south of Ruby River. So there's a gate there. Oh my god, that is miles away. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, before we go any further, I will call it there for today. I appreciate there's not been a huge amount of the, the old talking going on, my end of things, but I've just kind of been happy enjoying the, enjoying the conversation. But now things are getting weird. Like, properly weird. And I don't know who I can trust now. It, the, the devs, the people who have made this, who have written this story, have done a masterful job. It raising tension like there's so many emotions in this game and it keeps bringing them up to the front you feel sad then you feel happy then you feel content then you feel stressed out of your goddamn mind and I'm loving it that's all I have time for, for today though guys thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for the love thanks for taking half an hour out of your day to come and spend it with me as always guys I've been Sturks you you've been incredible and I can't wait to share the next part of this adventure with you.